What up peeps, welcome to today's vlog. I just got here to the store, opened up, got everything loaded out from the car. Um, Abby stayed up too late last night, so she's sleeping in for a couple more hours and then she's going to take like an Uber or a Lyft here. Uh, so she'll be here soon. But like I said, I just got here. Um, it is Thursday, so I don't know exactly how busy it's going to be. Um, I'm hoping that it's a little slow so that I have some time to work on like a lot of the inventory that we've been trying to get through and get caught up on. And then also like the eBay and Amazon stuff, of course. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff over the weekend, so I like to get that done. Inventory to be entered. And then also, you know, other stuff. So, let you guys know if anything comes in. Of course, if you missed the last two vlogs, I highly recommend checking them out. Anytime we upload videos that are not, that don't have like a cool video game related title, they get a lower amount of views. And I understand why, of course, but I do think that even if you guys are not into the video game stuff, you'll still enjoy the vlogs. Uh, we tried to film some really cool stuff, did a lot of like, like filming and editing styles that we don't normally do in like the game store vlog type stuff. So please check them out, uh, especially the, especially yesterday's vlog, because there was some video game stuff in there. We stopped at a couple game stores. So definitely check those out if you missed them and let's get today started. All right, guys, so we just got our first trade in here. We got a set of Joy-Cons. These are just the gray ones for the Nintendo Switch. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, the guy took store credit, but he didn't actually pick anything up. He just left it on his account, which is perfectly fine, of course. Um, I'm also trying to work on editing the vlog. Abby's not here yet, so uh, I've been making slow progress on that because I've been helping customers. And then I also have done my eBay shipping. You can see a bunch of packages here. I still have to package up this Halo Blaster thing. Uh, but that's all for like 130 which was super awesome so i'm gonna get that packaged up i'm about to order some food because i'm starving and i didn't grab anything this morning before i left the house um we were gone for the past couple days obviously so we didn't make any food over the weekend so didn't really have anything to just grab and go so i'm gonna order some food and uh just keep working on stuff here um gotta get the vlog edited that's like my main focus after i package up this last ebay shipment or ebay item and get that all shipped out and yeah so not really much else to say yet abby's here what oh hi <laughs> we got another little trade in here original xbox controller needs a new stick right there that one's kind of chewed up and needs a breakaway cable but we have them and then we got fallout 3 lego indiana jones and kung fu panda forza 3 which he bought from us modern warfare 2 poker game tiger woods Oddworld, Munch's Odyssey, and a disc only Need for Speed Underground. Um, the majority of these I did not want, but uh, I was only interested in the controller and those two. And then he offered this whole stack for a dollar, so I said yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, you know, we don't need duplicates of a lot of these, you know, stuff like this. We don't need more copies, but... Um, can't really complain. We do did kind of need the controller, so that's good. And since Abby's here now, she can film me opening up this package that came in the mail. Yeah. All right. I I kind of feel like this is coming from someone who's like doing a trade in or something. Probably. I don't really know for sure. It's from. Oh. This is not a trade in. This is coming from, okay, so a little while ago we got a package from eBay that was a bunch of complete in box and 64 games. This is from the same guy. I started talking to him, uh, we started texting, and he had a bunch of stuff that I needed for the collection. And Sam bought a bunch of stuff from him as well, his name's Angelo. So we have the Turok 3 instruction manual, which will will complete our copy minus the map, but I actually have the map coming in the mail from eBay. Then, this one is a duplicate now, I suppose. We have FIFA Road to World Cup 98. Um, I just showed, I just got this in the mail yesterday, <laughs> but, you know, condition upgrade, probably. Uh, we have South Park Rally. We have NBA Jam 2000. We have International Superstar Soccer 98. We have Mickey's Speedway USA. This is a ton of games we still needed. NBA Showtime. 
Brunswick Circuit Pro Bowling. Some of these are complete, some are box and manual only. WCW Nitro, this one's kind of rough. And then we have a Bug's Life with the plastic still on it. Open, but plastic's on there. Same with Star Wars Rogue Squadron with the plastic. Jet Force Gemini with the plastic. Rally Challenge 2000. Superman 64 with the plastic. And Star Wars Episode One Racer with the plastic. So, so just to be clear, is this all for your collection or? The majority of it, but at least that FIFA game now is a double because I got that one in the mail. So you'll be comparing condition and it'll be available in like a couple of days, right? Yeah, and then stuff like this with the plastic, this is obviously going to be a condition upgrade over our other copy, which probably doesn't have the plastic. So, you know, I'll keep this one. The other one will come to the store. And like typically it takes a couple of days to get those available on yeah, the floor. Yeah, I mean, who knows how long it'll take. We have so much stuff to go through, but that was a cool package. <laughs> All of this. I'm very happy with, with this package. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Any, uh, did you check the mail in the mailbox? No. Because we are expecting two other trades. Well, this one came from UPS. Okay. The guy came in and dropped it off earlier. Awesome. All right, guys, we just got another trade in here. Uh, this guy took cash, so we have GoldenEye, Diddy Kong Racing, Cruising USA, and then these two we do not have in stock, so these are our only copies, F-Zero X and Yoshi's Story. So pretty good stuff. Um, Abby's working on another trade actually right now out there, so I'll show you guys that here in a second. So I'm working on some inventory stuff here. Abby just left to go grab some food. Um, I got Uber Eats delivered right before she got here, um, but it's now 6.30, and so she's getting pretty hungry, so she's going to pick up um, some grilled chicken for herself. She She's still doing keto. Obviously, in the the anniversary videos that we uploaded, you know, Obviously, she wasn't eating keto. She feels very restricted on that diet, especially when we go out to eat. And she feels bad because there's, like, not much that she can have. So, uh, she didn't eat 100% keto on our trip, but she's, you know, back on it again. So, she's getting some grilled chicken, and I'm working on this stuff here. All this stuff is entered. That box of plushes is entered. We got another trade in here that I haven't showed yet. Red Wii Remote or red nunchuck, I mean, a black GBA, no battery cover, but we'll get one at some point. And then some, excuse me, <laughs> PS4 and Xbox One sports games. And then some other just like fillers. And uh, just got a phone call. Someone said they're bringing in, they're gonna be in here like half an hour. They have Transformers Beast Wars for the N64. I told them what I'd pay for that, assuming it's in good shape. They said they're definitely going to bring that. And then they said they also have like 150 PS2 and original Xbox games with their original cases. Most of them have manuals. I told them right off the bat, like probably not going to take everything because, you know, we're, we're passing on a lot of like really cheap common stuff. We're passing on a lot of sports games, but I am excited to look through because when you have 150 of those games, there's bound to be at least one that's pretty good. So I'm very excited. He said he'll be here in about half an hour. I'm gonna work on this inventory, getting all this stuff stickered. I just imported the spreadsheet that I put together. So I'm gonna import that now, get this stuff stickered. Abby should be back soon, and that guy should be bringing in that trade stuff really soon. So hopefully the next clip you see is the stuff I bought from him. So we got three more trade-ins, guys. First up, got the box for the power pad. I need this to complete my, my power set at home. Uh, the power pad is in here because it's folded up nicely. Uh, the guy allowed me to take that one. I'm bringing back my, I'm bringing back the one I have at home for him because uh, it's really difficult to fold them up. So he was nice enough to let me do that. Uh, he also gave me a few posters here. This one is the Miss Pac-Man for like the lottery, the Washington lottery, which was really, really cool. I'm going to be keeping this one, uh, probably hang it up in here somewhere. He said he has a buddy who works at the lottery, so whenever they do video game stuff, he always grabs him whatever he can, and he had a couple extras of these, so he gave me one. He also gave me two posters here that I'm going to try to hang up somewhere in the store. Can you open this for me, Abby? Yeah. So, first one is Kingdom Hearts 3. That one's pretty cool. And then this one I'm going to put in the free bin so someone can take it. It's another Kingdom Hearts one, but it's more of like a... kind of like an advertisement for the actual game. But... Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So, 
There's the first one. Second trade here are these X-Men figures. Um, one of our regulars found these at a garage sale and traded them in here. We have uh, She-Hulk, these are the 10-inch figures. We also have Storm. The packaging is not great on these. And then Jean Grey, this one is technically opened. I don't think it's ever been used, but the tape is cut. And then we have two of these big like collector's edition things. So there's six figures in this one. These are technically also not sealed, although I don't think the figures were ever taken out. And this one has five figures. Uh, so pretty cool stuff. These are definitely older than the last X-Men figures that came in the other day. So I was happy to take these ones in uh, for our store here. And then we have a massive trade over here, guys. Check this out. This is about 135, 140 games. Uh, so first up, we actually got a graded comic, which is pretty cool. It's not expensive at all. Um, but this one here, graded 9.8, which is pretty high. Um, this is only worth like 30, maybe 40 bucks. <laughs> I actually might hold on to this one because I think it's kind of cool. If somebody is dying to have it and they come in the store asking for it, I'll probably sell it. Um, probably price it at 40. That's the cheapest one on eBay before shipping. Um, but... Yeah, I don't want to have to ship this, so it's going to be in-store only if somebody wants it. Otherwise, I'll probably just hold on to it. It'll just be a cool thing to put up in the game room. Got a couple, well, one plug-and-play here in television. It is opened. And then an Atari Flashback Portable, which is also opened, but it's got all the stuff in there. And then we're just going to go through the games like this because there's way too many. There's a lot of filler titles, although there are some good ones. There's a Star Wars Bounty Hunter... So you can pause if you need to. The Tension Pac-Man. The top three here are Factory Sealed. Time Splitters Feature Perfect, Gauntlet. So there are some decent games in here. Battlefront 2, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Let's keep going here. My favorite PS2 game of all time, Champions Return to Arms. There's a couple of those Rampage Total, Total Destructions, Simpsons game, Cartoon Network Racing. Crash of the Titans, Tony Hawk and Need for Speed stuff. Then the best game in the lot, we have Transformers Beast War. So this is the bundle that I told you guys about. And then a Japanese Mario Party 2, a disc-only Mortal Kombat trilogy, and then Real Sports Baseball, Centipede, and Defender for 5200 And then some just filler NES titles, and then some Xbox stuff. Once again, a couple decent titles in here, but mostly just filler. A couple of these I will be keeping. Um, Wings of War I've never seen, so I was going to hold on to that one. Possibly whacked. Uh, and then we have two copies of Sonic Chaos for the Game Gear, and also Sonic Drift 2. And then uh, Cosmic Spacehead, uh, weird Codemasters card for Genesis. And then some more stuff here. Once again, Knights 2 is pretty good. SSX Tricky. So, the Knight's Apprentice there, I've never seen, so I'm definitely holding on to that one. And then, possibly Malice and Mad Dash. I uh, don't know if I have those ones or not, but that is that trade. So, tons of stuff there. Uh, the guy that traded this in, he was a younger kid, I think he was 17. Um, so, his, you know, his mom was here to help, of course, to show her ID for the trade-in, but um, he... He appears to be a collector. Um, he's got a bunch of stuff. This is more than a normal person has. And he said he might come back and trade in a bunch of N64 stuff, which would be pretty cool, because um, these are the only two that he brought today. Um, so hopefully he's got some more stuff, and we'll see him again soon. He took cash, which is perfectly fine when it's you know a decent amount of stuff. There was a lot of stuff we passed on as well, so this was not everything. Um, he probably had another another like stack or two about this size of games that we passed on that were just like a lot of sports games, some Dance Dance Revolution, you know, stuff like that uh, for PS2, Xbox, and Wii. But overall, three pretty good trades here, some really cool stuff. All right, guys, it's closing time. Got the Kingdom Hearts poster hung up right there. Got the other Kingdom Hearts poster in the free bin. And then I hung up the little Miss Pac-Man thing right here. There's a lot of empty space up here but I cannot reach those spots, especially this corner. I can't reach that without moving the pinball machines, and I'm definitely not gonna do that to hang up a poster. So that's where they are. Got a bunch of stuff out. New plushes and toys and 
all sorts of cool things. So we're gonna head home now. We got some packages to open once we get there. It is package time, guys. Got a bunch of them here. I'm just gonna jump into it. This one I hope is not an N64 game. Okay, well, I meant I hope it's not a boxed N64 game, and it is not. So, plastic case, we have Turok 3. So I showed you guys the manual, and so here's an extra manual. The reason that I bought this though is because it came with the poster, and I needed this to complete the set. It also came with the cartridge, which I need. Um, so this was like, basically this was the price of a cartridge to get the cartridge manual and map. The only other map posted was only like $3 cheaper than this little set with the plastic case as well. So um, definitely picked that up. So uh, to complete the set, of course, so the, the cartridge and the map, I'm keeping the manual now. I have an extra one, which I will put out at the store. Next package here. I really hope once again, this isn't complete in box N64 games in a bubble mailer. <laughs> Looks like it's not. But I'm also not sure what these are. They're like wrapped up in paper. Okay, where did I buy these from? These are NES games. I really don't remember like where I'm, where I'm getting these from, but we have Super Mario 64, Super Mario Brothers 3, Yoshi, and Donkey Kong 3. So, let me see the package. Um, it's not, it's like a handwritten thing, so it's not, it's not like an eBay shipping label. I'm not sure if that's from eBay or not. I'll have to double check. All right, next up here. I put the box cut. This one has an invoice. Okay, awesome. I've been waiting for this one. I wanna be careful cutting this open. I don't wanna cut what's actually in there. That would be terrible. All right. Oh, it's in beautiful condition. This is a manual for Mischief Makers to complete the box and cartridge that I got from my buddy Jeffrey. So that completes my copy. That is super awesome. Moving on. I think that this, yeah, that's just an Amazon return. I'm not going to open that. Um, actually, these both might, I think both of these last ones are Amazon returns. Yeah, not returns, but these are items that I had posted on Amazon that were either too cheap now just to be worth selling, or they just have not sold in forever. It's like one of these Odyssey Adventures VHS, brand new. And then the other one is this stupid little Uno game. <laughs> so those are all the packages I have for you guys. Um, I'm going to probably go ahead and end the vlog right here. Uh, we got a bunch of trade-ins today, which is good. Nothing like crazy rare. That Beast Wars is pretty cool, but uh, lots of filler stuff otherwise, which is fine. Um, we are still being pretty picky. Um, I know that we took in a bunch of stuff today and it looked like just a bunch of filler. However, we didn't pay much for it, so it's all right. Um, but yeah, I'm in talks with someone right now to buy. I wouldn't really call it a collection because the person I'm trying to buy from it's, I don't know exactly where they got it, but I've bought stuff from them multiple times and they, they do garage sales and stuff like that and they buy stuff and then sell it to people like me. Um, so you can call them resellers, but at the same time, they're not like trying to get top dollar on everything, but the stuff they have right now is a pretty big lot. There's N64, NES, Super Nintendo, GameCube, uh, there's Neo Geo Pocket Color, there's Nintendo Switch, there's Game Boy Advance, there's Genesis, there's 32X, and maybe a couple other things.
things here and there, but it's a pretty big bundle. I'm hoping to be able to work out the deal. I'm just waiting for them to text me back, but I'll let you guys know how that goes. Uh, if I end up getting it, of course, you'll see a video with it in there. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.